Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about the anatomy of an object. So, first of all, we need to create a new patcher. So, we're going to go to the Max application, launch it and click on File and then press on New Patcher. So, first of all, we want to save it somewhere in our um, local hard drive or external hard drive so we can do that by going to file and press save here so this dialog window is gonna pop up and we are gonna give a name tutorial 02 in this case and then we want to save it somewhere uh, i chose uh, desktop and then with this with the following um, file format in our case, we're going to choose Max Patcher, but as you can see, there are like other um, file formats. Um, but for our goal, it's um, important to select Max Patcher. So we're going to click Save, and uh, with the extent extension of of this file is going to be dot Max Pat. So, what's an object? An object is an unit block in a Max environment that has inputs and outputs, called inlets and outlets. So, generally an object takes some information in the inlet, processes it in some way and outputs a result. And it can be thought as a mathematical function y equal f of x. So, y equal f of x. So that's how an object basically works, and we want to basically create this kind of behavior uh, by calling uh, a new object by pressing N from the keyboard or clicking this object here, and let's say we want to um, store uh, natural numbers in an object and uh, to and output this value uh, on a certain time in the future by giving a trigger a trigger so uh, we're gonna call an object called int which stays for integer and as you can see here uh, a window pop up and um, if you write if we type int we have also a list of um, let's say objects that contain uh, the the word uh, int uh, somehow and uh, the first one is like the mm, which, which we the, the one we selected and uh, then we have a dash and a very short description of what the object mm, does and in this case it says store an integer value good so we are gonna like call this object as I said in a previous video, there is basically a file stored um, in our computer in the, inside the Max uh, application that is called int.mxo. Um, and basically, we call this object. And this object has um, some script inside. It has a function uh, that maybe with some some arguments, and uh, and, and basically by by you know defining this object, like it means like refer like create an instance of that uh, of that file. So create um, a kind of copy of it. I mean, create something based on that model. So, uh, we say that an object perform this kind of mathematical function y equal f of x, where basically f of x will be um, this, the object itself. So, we can say, um, um, here we can say object definition y equal f of x. By the way, this is a comment box, which can be you know, called by clicking this icon here and a comment it's a useful way to describe and comment uh, um, uh, our patch or blog of our patch so you you should get used to 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 describe and what, what you're doing in your patch for yourself or your future self and or if you work with other people on the same patch it's going to be a, a, a good rule of thumb to always uh, try to describe what a block of objects um, per, per perform performs so um, the, the object itself we say this is f of x 
And Y, it's basically the output, and X is the input. By the way, I duplicated this object by holding Option and drag and dropping the, the object itself to another part of the window. And this can be applied to any kind of object. So if you want to duplicate the int, uh, duplicate the int, I uh, will do the same, uh, and so on. So uh, in our case, um, X uh, is basically uh, an integer that we want to store in this object. So we have to just basically create um, an integer uh, box um, by pressing I and then connect the first outlet to the second inlet and um, and then we can basically connect the output of the inlet here to another integer box so as you can the first thing that you should notice uh, is that these two inlets have different colors so and we usually objects have um, max objects have uh, on the left inlet um, a circle, a red circle, and um, inlets on the right uh, have um, uh, a circle, a blue circle. So and uh, these two colors uh, represent um, different behaviors uh, in an object. And a called inlet basically it is used to store values inside the object as parameters. A parameter basically is like something that um, gives, um, it, it's basically um, something that gives uh, the object, uh, that calls um, a, a, a method in, a, in an object, let's say. Um, or better saying that it's a function that contains a, a way to, um, you know, let's say, interpret the, the specific incoming data. And so what we uh, do usually with called inlet is to store values inside um, the, the object. And the hot inlet um, does two things. S store or set um, a value, but also bang it, uh, which means um, trigger it, execute the object with the given uh, data and output the information. So, so basically means compute this f of x with a bang that output a value called y. If you want to, like, if you want to, uh, like, compare, like, the max word with the mathematical word, which is, in my opinion, fits quite well. So, um, and f, f of x can be, like, if we think about uh, mathematics, is that f of x might be something like x squared. So, you know, if f of x is x squared and we put a 2 here, our output is going to be a 4 because 2 squared is, is 4. Uh, so, uh, but in this case, uh, what we have to do is to is say, okay, whatever I, it comes to uh, the inlet, so whatever is x, the output is going to be f, is going to be uh, x itself um, um, outputted when we take when we um, uh, let's say when when the object receive um, a trigger a bank. So what we do here is to um, create a bank object, a button, uh, a bank obj a button object uh, that triggers that outputs a bank, uh, which basically um, triggers output the information contained in this object. So, it, for example, we can say store the value ten, and then output it now. So I click here in the bank, and the out and the output is going to be ten. By the way, um, in order to lock and lock the patch, um, I mean, you can go here to to the icon, or the sh there is a shortcut uh, where you have to play. Uh, you have to press uh, command and then click somewhere in the in the patch. And also, if you click inside an, uh, a UI object, you actually, um, you know, create an action of it. So it's like clicking on it if you were uh, in the locked patch. So doing that, 
or doing that, it's basically the same thing. Okay, so um, another uh, way to explain um, a defined cold and uh, hot inlets is to create a message box by pressing M, um, store something, say a string, hey, and um, and we can create uh, another object and store another value, of, let's say hi, and then we want to connect these two outputs to this object. As you can see, a message box has um, a cold and hot lit inlet, which means that everything that comes to this inlet is going to store the value, and everything that comes here uh, actually is going to output the value, if it's a bank. And what we can do is to create a print object. By the way, if you by mistake, uh, you know, uh, spell the print object like I did, print, and you press enter, uh, the Max console actually um, displays that the error and um, besides, you know, uh, making an object um, a kind of uh, brown color, brownish color. So when you, you when you encounter something like this, that means that the, you are trying to call and create an instance of an object that actually doesn't exist. And Max Console uh, says exactly that. It says new object, uh, pre um no such object. So that means that something wrong happened. And uh, as we know, uh, the actual object is called print without P. So if we uh, edit the object and uh, press enter again, we have the right, uh, I mean, the, the object gets by gets the default colors and, um, you know, no, no error message uh, get shown here. So let's let's clear the max console by pressing this um, icon here, and uh, let's connect the output to this inlet. So uh, what happens here is that you might think that um, by pressing this we have something changed here, and and you might wondering why, why there is no no output. Uh, well. That's because we have to uh, trigger, we have to execute the object. So we have to just press the bang here in order to output the value. And same thing by changing the value and so So basically these two objects perform the same thing. Is there this one is just that this one is um, involves only integer numbers. Um, this object here is a message box, uh, usually deals with mm, strings, symbols. Um, so, um, as you can see here, when I hover the cables, uh, I can see what kind of a message going, is going through through the patch code. And in, the, the way to enable this, this, this feature um, is to go to um, the debug label here in the menu and um, check event probe. And this would be useful, so you can always, uh, you know, check what's going on uh, in your patch. And so, um, we can um, uh, basically, yes, uh, send send the output uh, by pressing sending a bank. But if we do also something like this, um, let's uh, let's write hola. In the end, even if the the output is oh, is, is not a bang, it, it, the object itself um, can interpret a, this this message as a bang. Um, so this is also another way to to output something. But you know, it doesn't mean much to to bang something with another name. So what you should do is to connect the object bang or otherwise just clicking the the message box uh, itself with your um, padlock uh, closed. Um, 
Yeah, that's, so that was it for today and hope you, you enjoyed and see you on the next video where I'm gonna talk about data types. So I'm gonna go more in depth about uh, these terms that I've used today like symbols, strings, uh, integer and, and, and so on. So have a good Monday and see you next week. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.